new and improved drive circuit um, N channel MOSFET and PN transistor caps and a transformer input volts over here input M over here system has now three speed the third one is overdrive back here I have a uh, DC to DC converter uh, high frequency very efficient new and improved drive calls thanks to Nikola Tesla with a few twists of myself in them they works very good <coughs> down here is a uh, spark gap nine LED lamps it's a EC load gonna test them through the um, spark gap and also without the spark gap <coughs> starting system up is running at 18 volts a little bit of a spin first speed <clears throat> Here you can see the neon flashing only for now. When I engage second speed, uh, the back EMF is being captured in the cap, which doesn't uh, that doesn't interfere with the drive section. <clears throat> Going now for second speed. As you can see, no more back EMF at the neon. System is speeding up. Load is not connected yet. Input is around 600 milliamps now. Still speeding up. Going on for third over the right speed. When it's stable, the input will be around 600 milliamps at around 18 volts. Load is not connected yet. Yeah, that's about it. Let's play a little with some spark on this side. The system is producing around 1300 or 1400 volt EC at this speed. Very dangerous. Dis disengage the uh, overdrive because at the speed it's a little bit dangerous you have to be careful hope you guys can see the spark gap the sparks Input is now around uh, 600 milliamps. 
that's the vault system is slowing down lights are flickering let me turn out the lights those this is the sparks uh, the spark gap lighting is not that bad I mean it's not that good now I'm gonna connect the light directly now I am bypassing the uh, spark gap lights are stable now far better system is speeding up a little bit which also means M draw are lower now <clears throat> M draw are now around 600 milliamps with the spark gap it is a little bit more is uh, 700 milliamps now with the load on the spark gap take it from the spark gap put it directly on the output system is slowly speeding up and the M draw goes back to 600 milliamps Yeah, nice. Gonna disconnect the load one more time. Completely, no load now. And I'm gonna engage once again the third speed, which is the overdrive, for some nasty RPM. Here it goes. Input amps now are way above one amps. Yeah, that's about it. About 18.1 at yeah, slightly below 600 milliamps. Let's play with some spark just for the fun of it. Gonna let it speed it up and do a RPM test. Let me get my <clears throat> yeah, just a little something to drink. My BCAs yeah, lifting weights.
1100 rpm not bad for such a large rotor it is now pretty stable 18 volt input at uh, around 550 milliamps okay that's about it thanks for watching